We'll go ahead and call the meeting to order. Tonight's meeting of the Zoning Board of Appeals is called to order. A little bit of housekeeping. Tonight's meeting of the Zoning Board of Appeals is being recorded for RCTV Live. Uh, you can view it on Comcast Channel 22 or Verizon Channel 33. The videographer for tonight's meeting is Rob. Uh, you can check rctv.org for more information and for replay times. Uh, the first order of business on the uh, on the agenda tonight is a withdrawal of a case that uh, I was recused from, so I'll let John uh, handle the matters re uh, revolving around the, uh, uh, the withdrawal. <coughs> the <coughs> case um, was uh, originally held on October 16th. No, it was held on um, September the 7th. Um, we continued the case uh, until this evening. <coughs> um, it was case number um, 9 1709. That's right, 17 09. Um, it was uh, 236th Ash Street requesting um, relief from um, a section of the bylaw. Um, and we received this from the um, owner, Ed Sartell, on October the 16th, 2017. Um, please accept this email as a written request to withdraw without prejudice, a special permit and variance request currently in front of the Reading Zoning Board of Appeals relative to 236th Ash Street. So I'll accept the motion to withdraw without prejudice. I would, uh, yeah, I would, I would go ahead and uh, make a motion to allow the applicant to withdraw his application uh, without prejudice in this case, 1709. Second. Second. So I second. All in favor? Did you, didn't you sit that one? Yeah, oh yeah, I'll get okay. five, yeah. Five zero zero. <laughs> Thanks. All right, and so Robert, you'll, um, Want me to write something you'll, up on you'll, that? You'll write that up. John will sign it. Okay. Um, so maybe just send it to send it to John rather rather than to to me. Sure. All right. Great. Thank you, John. Okay. The uh, the next matter on the agenda tonight is a uh, new case, case 17-11. Give me a few minutes. How oh, can I move on? You need All a right. minute? No, no, no. Okay. Go ahead. All right. You're just finishing up. Yeah. Uh, case 17-11, Zoning Board of Appeals will hold a public hearing in the Selectman's Meeting Room at Town Hall 16 Lowell Street, Reading, Massachusetts on Wednesday, November 1st, 2017 at 7 p.m. on the application of Joshua Gagnon pursuant to Mass General Laws Chapter 40A, Section 9 for a special permit under Reading Zoning Bylaw Section 732 for a 4.08 feet by 3.75 feet extension of an existing non-conforming entryway with a side setback of 13.5 feet on the property located at 23 King Street in Reading, Massachusetts. Unless there's an objection, I'll dispense with the reading of the abutters list to say that the abutters were notified, as were the appropriate boards and committees of the Town of Reading, members and associate members of the Zoning Board of Appeals, as well as the planning boards of the surrounding communities. Testimony given before this board is taken under oath, so if you think you may want to speak on this case, especially the applicant, please stand and raise your right hand. I swear that the testimony given by me before this board will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Your response is I do. I Mr. Gagnon, the floor is yours. Okay. Um, so as you said, we're, we're uh, adding to an entryway that's existing. It's got a 13 and a half foot setback. Side, we're going back towards the back a lot by I think 4.08 feet. Um, and we're looking to do that because it's very congested as is. Um, and we'd like to just improve the flow of the entryway um, to kind of open up the front hall. So we're doing a lot of, bit of, a lot of work um, in the rest of the house. So this would kind of improve the, the total flow. Great. Anything else in support of your application? If you have questions, that's about it. I'm sure the board will. Okay. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, we will uh, open the case up for comment. I guess we'll, I, I have a feeling, before I do that, I have a feeling several of the uh, board members may share the same 
question that I have, and I think it's an overriding question. Um, the existing structure is already encroaching into the side yard setback. It's already at 13 and a half feet. Correct. How long has that structure been there, and how was it that it was built already into the setback? Do you have any idea? I know the house was built early 1900s. There's no, I couldn't find a permit on file or anything that, that could uh, confirm when exactly that piece was built, if it was built with the, the house to begin with. Um, so I, you know, I don't have a year. All I know is the house uh, as a whole was built early 1900s. Okay. How long have you owned the house? Since April. Okay. Um, and you say that there's nothing that you've been able to find in the town records that explains how that already encroaching side setback came to be, whether it was part of the original structure or otherwise? No, I couldn't find anything. My only, uh, my only thought was that it was built prior to the setback. All right. Did uh, the building department give you any feedback as to any on that subject at all? Did you ask them about it? Nope, I did. Yeah, I tried to get some information because I, I went to uh, engineering to get a plot plan. They didn't have one. They just had one when it was an diff entirely different plot. Um, mm -hmm. So that's about as far as I can get. Uh, the original plot plan that you said engineering had, is that part of this package? Uh, no, because it, okay. it wasn't sufficient for what the building department was looking for, so I paid for a, an updated plot plan. Okay. Uh, my, my, my question is would be then, do you recall whether or not that original plot plan that you saw here at Town Hall was it? Uh, yeah, whether or not it. whether or not that structure was already indicated the the, the thirteen and the existing structure that you're trying to extend right mm -hmm. now was that reflected on that plot plan? Yeah, I don't think anything was different except the number of the, the house. Okay. House so as as far as you recall, that plot plan, do you remember when it was done? What date? What year? I don't. It's old. It was probably more than ten years old. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that's that's the that's the critical I think linchpin to your application, um, at least for me and perhaps for other board members as well. Um, you're asking to extend an existing nonconformity, and it's this board's job part of this board's job to, to determine how that nonconformity, original nonconformity, the, the existing structure that already encroaches into that side yard, mm -hmm. when that came to be and how it came to be. Um, if it had been in existence for longer than 10 years, the this, this, this state statute that I believe you cited in, your, in the hearing notice uh, allows the board uh, discretion as to whether or not to treat a nonconformity uh, that's existed for over 10 years as legal in making our determination. Um, the other question, the other reason why I asked the question is, um, and we just de dealt with this on a, on a similar case, if that nonconformity, that encroachment of the existing building, I don't want to get too technical on it, uh, the encroachment of the existing building into the side yard setback, if that was granted by a variance, then the only way that we could allow you to extend it would be through a variance application and not a special permit. So that's the, the method behind the madness, if you will, trying to find out how long the existing nonconformity has been in existence. Um, it appears, from what the applicant's telling us, it's been there for at least 10 years. Uh, and so I think, A, a special permit is probably uh, likely, and we can talk about this if we need to, the, the uh, appropriate relief <coughs> that we'll be asking for. Uh, in that the nonconformity is older than 10 years. And so your application today to, let's just say, ex extend the nonconformity along the same line Correct. Uh, is appropriately done as far as the special permit goes. So I'm, I think I'm, I'm satisfied with that answer. Um, with that question out of the way, I, I'm, I have a feeling I'm sure that that was on some other folks' minds. I'll, I'll turn the matter over to any further uh, board comments or questions, and we can start with uh, with Robert. Okay, thank you, David. Uh, yeah, I, I have the same thoughts on it. You, typically, we get in our packets, and it's very helpful, is the uh, uh, history of the assessor's plans uh, for us. For some reason, we didn't get them in this, this time, and I certainly missed them. 
I, I maybe should have made the effort to get down to town hall today. Or something. I, I've been out of town. I just got back Monday. But uh, I, anyway, I didn't. But uh, looking at it and from, from testimony from the applicant, I would say that it's most likely the house was built in the 1900s. It was possibly enclosed sometime then or in the 20s, 30s. I would say it's maybe been there prior to even zoning. So I would, based on what we hear tonight, I would say it's a legal non-conforming situation uh, on that uh, case. And uh, the, the lot itself is a uh, legal non-conforming or a legal, yeah, non-conforming lot, grandfathered. Uh, it goes back that, that far. Uh, we're in an S-15 zone and uh, it's, it's, it's a small lot in regards to the requirements of S-15. Uh, the, in this particular case, looking at it, the, the addition is going to be basically screened from the front uh, of the house, King Street. It's going to be behind the existing one that's already there. Uh, so I don't see that uh, you're going to see a big difference at all from any, anybody viewing it from the street. Uh, there'll be no new nonconformity, and I can't see where it would be uh, any more detrimental or even substantially more detrimental to the neighborhood uh, than what's there already on the existing residence. So I, I would support this particular uh, application. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. Uh, Nick. Yeah, thanks, David. Yeah, um, I pretty much agree with everything that was just said. Um, it's not really adding or changing to the use in that current location. It's a very minimal addition, like you said. It's very modest for what you're looking for to get a little bit more entry weight. You know, mm -hmm. Maybe going to put a mudroom, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, and it's not increasing the nonconformity, so I'm okay with it. All right, great. John. Yeah, the question that I had very similar to that um, that you had pointed out. It looks like there was that maybe when the house was originally built, um, access to the front of the house through a front door. The front door has now been removed, and a side porch has been added, and the entryway through the side porch. So that was put on. It appears it is very difficult to go back and check that, but the only Avenue for us to check that would be in the file um, off of the uh, either the assessors or the file that's kept on, on each of the properties in town. So, assuming that uh, that was put on more than 10 years ago, um, either by virtue of either option here, it appears that the, it's a legal non-conforming uh, structure there. And it is 13.5 feet, so the extension is is uh, allowed on the 7.2s. Okay, that's okay. supported. All right. Anything else, John? No. Nope. Sign. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind that this is a legal non-conforming structure. If you look at it, it's been there probably longer than I've been on this planet. Uh, but one thing that caught my eye is that if I look at the tax maps. And again, I'm looking at a map that's very shrunk, okay? But it looks appears to me the tax max show the frontage is 48 feet, and this pop plan shows it is 50 feet. So the only clarification I'm looking for is, is it 48 or is it 50? Okay? I don't know. That's a question I have. But the tax max tax maps do show it is 48. Yeah, I've, I've found in my experience, maybe John, David, too, tax maps sometimes okay. can be approximate. Okay. Uh, I, I would personally take the certified PAW plan yeah. as, as, of, as the gospel. Jack mm -hmm. Sullivan's that's plan. What, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Um, is the rear deck staying or going? Going. It's going. You're taking yeah, it up. Taking it off. It's being taken off and being replaced by, uh, you can see in the, in the plans, um, just a platform. That's right. With Okay. I don't really have a problem in this case at all. Okay. Thanks, sir. All right. Do have any questions or issues? All right. Great. Uh, you've heard my question, which we got out of the way. Uh, before we move forward to any 
public comment and to a vote, I want to make sure I read into the record uh, a memo from uh, Glenn Redmond, the building inspector, dated uh, October 24th, <coughs> 2017, regarding this case uh, for our hearing tonight. Uh, it goes on, this proposal is construct to construct a one-story structure to a non-conforming single family to the right-hand side of the existing single family dwelling. The proposed 408 by 375 structure is to be located 13 and a half feet from the property line. The required side yard setback in an S15 district is 15 feet. A special permit from, seven, from section 732 is required. I do not have any issues with this request. The existing right setback, the existing right setback is existing at 13 and a half feet. Thank you, Glenn Redmond, um, Town of Reading Zoning Officer. Uh, and that goes, uh, that's dated after a, a, a memo regarding the building permit review, which I won't read it to the record, dated October 5th, uh, where um, the building inspector denied your application regarding the required side yard setback and cites to 732 uh, and that you have to request a special permit. So those are, uh, those are part of the record. Uh, anybody else in the uh, audience want to speak on this application? We'll open it to public comment. Hearing none, we'll close the public comment section of the uh, of the hearing. Uh, any further board discussion on this application? Seems pretty straightforward. Uh, then, hearing none, I'll take a motion. Anybody like to make a motion? How about you, Nick? You haven't done one in a while. All right, I'll give it a shot. Yeah, come on. Go for it. All right. It's kind of an outline. Nice. I move to grant the petitioner. Let's see here. Joshua Gagnon, uh, a special permit under section 7.3.2 for a 4.08 by 3.75 extension of the existing non-conforming entryway with a side setback of 13.5 feet on a property located at 23 King Street in Reading, Mass. As shown on the certified plot and plan prepared by John D. Sullivan, dated looks like October 8, 14, 17. Well, there's a, there's a new one uh, dated two. October 2nd. Yeah. Oh, dated October 2nd, 2017, and certified by, is it John Sullivan? John Sullivan. John Sullivan. Do you want to do the rest of it? Uh, do you want to, I, we, there's some elevation drawings that were submitted, uh, along with the application sheets A1 through A5. We ought to include those. Yep. And uh, uh, let's see, it's also including the, um, Let's see, the elevations by Hernandez Services, Inc. Um, let's see, A1 through A5. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a date on them, but they're, I don't know if we have a blown up copy of the elevation drawings, but the, the date September? on the shrunken copy Yeah, is. dated September 7th, 2017. Oh, you got better eyes than I do. <laughs> <laughs> so far. All right, well, typically we add the three standard uh, yep. conditions. Yep, uh, this special permit is subject to the following conditions. The petitioner shall submit to the building inspector a certified plot plan of the proposed construction and proposed <coughs> foundation plans prior to the issuance of a foundation permit for the work. Two, the petitioner's final construction plans for the new structure shall be submitted to the building inspector along with the as-built foundation plan, plans prior to the issuance of a building permit, and the as-built plans showing the completed construction shall be submitted to the building inspector immediately after the work is completed and prior to the issuance of an occupancy permit. Great, thank you. All right, we have a motion on the table. Do we have a second? Second. Second by Robert. Okay, any further board discussion on the motion on the table? Hearing none, we'll take a vote. All those in favor? Uh, any opposed? All right, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So you didn't, although you, you made the motion. Sorry, yeah. No, I didn't. No, no. Nick did. Nick did. Mm. I'll, I'll back on. I'll back on. So, so, yeah. 
you don't. Yeah, I'll defer. You'll you'll defer. Okay. To, you'll vote on it. <laughs> you're the you're the fifth. So that'll be okay. five zero zero. All right, sir. Your permit is is granted. Okay. Thank Hang you out much. for a second. Let me stamp your drawings. You'll need to take those with you. Uh, and record them along with the decision that will be published with the town clerk. Okay. These drawings? The, the drawings that I'm oh, going to stamp. Yeah. Yeah. David, I got a set of the full-size ones. Do you want those? Uh, yeah, maybe we ought to stamp the full-size ones, although he's going to have to shrink them anyway to, to get them on record. Although, no, they'll take full-size plans. Yeah, yeah, I'll take those. So. Yeah, yeah, I'll take those. Is this everything with the elevation drawings as well? Uh, that's the elevation drawing. Oh, this is I don't the have the plot, the right, plot I've plan. The, I've got the right. plot plan. All right, we'll stay at the smaller plot plan. I think the plot plan was originally eight and a half by got 11. It. Yeah. All right, got it. Good. Mm So uh, that you'll need to you'll need to those will need to accompany the decision uh, that you'll need to record at the registry of deeds. It'll all be explained in the in the decision. If you have any questions, just talk to the town staff when you come in. Okay. Uh, the board has 14 days to publish the decision with the town clerk. Mm -hmm. There's then a 20 day right of appeal, so 35 days or so okay. uh, from today, okay. you probably should pick it up. But you can contact daytime government; they'll be able to give you a ballpark as to when it's ready. But 35 days. Okay, sounds good. All right, yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you so much for your time. All right. Good night. Good night. Let me just uh, mop up the file on that real quick. don't have anything left on the agenda because there's been nothing submitted but we have uh, case 1004 45 Beacon Street the Beacon Court 40B Mr. Salomon Angelo Salomon 45 Beacon Street yeah um, in response to the letter that I submitted to the board uh, which letter was that sir um, well first off do not hand anything to me today sir you do not have an application before this board today You've not submitted anything in writing to the town requesting relief. There is, you've been on, in touch with town council, um, daytime, let me finish. Yes, sir. You've been in touch with town council, daytime government, and mass housing. All of them have asked you to go talk to a lawyer and make sure that you follow the proper procedure for being before this board. There is nothing before this board tonight to act upon. And until you submit something in writing through the proper channels, a proper request to daytime government so that it can be handled and received correctly, to be presented to this board, this board will take no action on anything that you are here to discuss tonight. I'm okay? here as a courtesy. We don't care about your courtesy, sir. We've already done this once before as a courtesy, and we've heard you as a courtesy when you were late to the last meeting. I encourage you, as the chairman of this board, to take the advice that you've been given from town council, from daytime government, and from mass housing. Go consult with an attorney, follow the proper procedure, and then if you present something to the board that the board can act upon, we will discuss it and hear it then. We're not going to hear anything tonight, sir. Understood. Okay? Thank you very much. Well, when you come back, when you file I, something with the... With the, with the uh, I did submit a letter addressed to yourself and the board. I don't know why you haven't received it. What, what, le what, was, that, what was contained in that letter? I don't have a copy of it with me. I had to do it twice. First time I got no response, the second time I hand delivered it to, to Glenn. So that's all I'm addressing. I'm and, not and asking the board to act on anything. 
Well, then, then this is not the proper forum to address anything except for asking the board with a properly submitted, properly received and I will do that. request. However, and then we'll hear you. I, however, I submitted the letter. I, sir, I don't know what letter you're talking about. You don't have a copy of the letter. I can't talk about something that's in, in thin air right now, sir. Well, I'm we, sure We've tomorrow, already spent an inordinate amount of time on this without anything I'm sure before tomorrow us. I could, re I could get a stamp copy from the town. Please, please submit a request. I Ask the town and the board for whatever relief it is that you seek or you think you are, are seeking. Until that happens, there is nothing for this board to take action on. And we, while we appreciate you being here, and certainly we're here, uh, you know, until that is done, this board has nothing to act on. We have nothing to, 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 to do. I was in receipt of a letter from town council yesterday. Okay. So my knowledge is I handed you a letter. I, I if understand. If you didn't receive it, I'm sorry. I, I understand you've also had a long conversation with town council today on the phone. I did. Where you were advised of several things, including your obligation to present something in writing to this board to, to act upon. And he, and, he, okay? and he suggested what I should say tonight, and that's and, why I came. And, and so what, what is it that you want to say? That's all. I have a couple of sentences. No, say what you'd like to say. I prepared a statement for you. Okay, great. So yesterday I received a letter from Reading Town Council confirming that the town's position is that the 40B comprehensive permit has lapsed. And I will submit a formal request to the ZBA appealing that decision. That's the formal request that the letter that I sent was basically not proper. Okay, so appealing what decision? Well, that's what I was going to hand you, but you didn't want it. This is the, the letter that I received that you may or may not have received from the town through the engineering department which brings us to this situation okay so you don't my, have to my, read it but i'll my suggestion you to you is to hang on to it okay, okay. Uh, if that is if that <clears throat> is evidence or documentation that you would like this board to consider with a right. properly made right. properly received request for some sort of relief I encourage you to append that, whatever document it is that you have, to whatever that request is and file it with the town. I will. And then the town will let us know, daytime government will let us know uh, that a request has been made and we'll, they'll place it on an agenda. Understood. Until such time, we have, we have nothing to act on. If it is relief, if it's called relief, I'm simply appealing the town's decision. If that's relief, then that's relief. Uh, but uh, what, what decision are you referring to? Their decision is that, you don't want it, but the decision is that they have instructed engineering that my permit has expired. Okay. So this is my, will be my administrative appeal to the ZBA. Uh, it's generally not, well, you can submit whatever you want to the right. town, but, but this, this board does not handle appeals from the town engineer no this is okay. from, this is from the town the engineering department let me let me let me, is, let me say it again maybe the I didn't say it clearly the letter that you just read from is from the town engineer is that right a decision has been communicated to you from the town's engineer that letter that you just read, that you just read from correct this this board does not make determinations and does not handle appeals from the town engineer we handle appeals from the building inspector and the building inspector only. He so, wouldn't give me one. <laughs> so, right. And so, right. So again, I, I circle right. back to the very beginning that I, that I, that I tried to, to, to make clear. I've been uh, involved in many discussions with town council and town staff regarding your uh, case, okay? And I've also seen all the materials that have been going back and forth regarding your case. In every single one of them, you've had conversations and correspondence with daytime government. Conversations, telephone conversations as soon as recently as today, yeah, correct. and correspondence from town council, conversations and correspondence from mass housing that has ultimate jurisdiction over 40B special uh, comprehensive permits, and all of them have suggested that you consult with legal counsel of your own choosing prior to moving forward. We'd like to see him. I'd like to see something in writing from your lawyer, if possible. I'm not suggesting that you spend money on 
on on it's not on, about uh, money. on a lawyer. It's not about but, money. But but I'm but I'm suggesting that um, after consulting with legal counsel, after receiving all of that correspondence and conversation that I've just summarized for you, if you would like to make a request to the town that you feel this board has jurisdiction to hear, that's what we're here for. Understood. Okay. So I think your next step would be a consult with legal counsel. B make your request. File your request with the with, with, with the building department, uh, and if they feel it's a proper request, they will mark you up for the next meeting, which is 15th. the 15th, is it? It would be the 15th. Yeah, would yeah, be. yeah, two weeks from today would yeah. be, yeah, would be November 15th would be the next time this board meets, presuming you get all those ducks in a row. Certainly. Very good, sir. Thank you very much for your time. Okay. Appreciate you stopping by. Good night. Good night. All right. Uh, the only thing left on our agenda tonight is some meeting minutes. I'm sure you guys don't want to hang around and listen to us read the meeting minutes, but you're, <laughs> you're certainly welcome to. I, 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 you know, I'm, not kicking, I'm not kicking you out. I'm just suggesting to you that there's just an administrative task left. All right. Thank you. Can I ask a question? Uh, sure, but I don't know if I can answer it. Just about, I'm, I'm the neighbor of that gentleman. And I was just looking for, I don't know what's going on with it. I was just curious as to the situation and how it's playing out. Your request is best directed to daytime government. You would be gotcha. well served by calling the yeah. counter staff or coming in to see him during regular business hours and, uh, and posing your question to them. What I saw seems to be uh, what I've been getting from most sources. So. Thank you. All right. Good night. Sorry to uh, uh, be so short. <laughs> um, I'm just hearing for, for 23 King Street, ladies and uh, gentlemen. Um, I'm just curious, can I ask them why you get uh, refused the first time um, the, the permit? He asked for the um, build, building permit, right? Why he got uh, refused the first time that he have come back to get a hearing? Uh, that, that case is closed now, ma'am. The time to raise that would have been during the course of the open proceeding. But oh. uh, generally, the, the building inspector rejected uh, the initial building permit application as not in compliance with the zoning bylaw. Oh, the and zoning. required the applicant to come before this board for relief from the zoning bylaw. Oh, okay. All right? Okay. Thank you very much. Oh, but if I have a permit, who I should apply? Where I should apply for? If I, I want to... Um, do something, fix something, do something, where I should apply in my application? The building department here at Town Hall, at the community services desk in the back annex of the building during oh, regular business hours. Building department. Building I'll department. Do, oh, I have to go there a uh, request. It uh, has to be in writing. Application. The counter staff Very has an application that you can certainly fill out. They'll help okay. you as best as they can to uh, point you in the right direction. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, All thank right. you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Is that okay. your jacket? Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't okay. forget that. It's getting cold out. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> Thank you. Alrighty then. Uh, we have le left on our agenda the uh, minutes of the September 28th meeting. Everybody had a chance to go through them? Uh, I did. Kristen sent them to us a while ago. Where did I have it? Oh, yeah. I, I have two minor corrections. Go for it. You got them open? Uh, Kim, uh, second, second page. No? All right. Yeah, he's going to want uh, to ask you to make a couple Kim. of changes. Kristen, Do you have a I'm sorry. I'm used to, uh, okay, all right. Good. For, for a sentence. Paper cut? Yes. Uh, uh, for a sentence. Uh, invited the applicant to present speak. I think it's present to speak. It should be in that first sentence. Invited the applicant present to speak. You see that? Yeah, I know. And then on page three, last paragraph, Mr. Redfern said he did have an issue. No D. Okay, not past tense, and I think that's that's what I saw. Anyway, those two corrections I had. Very good. Uh, anybody else have any comments regarding the minutes? Uh, similar yeah. things. Well, 
uh, on that same page that you said issue instead of an issue. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Mr. Salomon's name is misspelled in a one, two, three, fourth paragraph down. The last sentence before the last sentence. Mr. Salomon stated he had a well-designed plan. See it there? Next to the last page. It uses his name twice, one on top of the other. On the right hand side. Anybody else see it? I don't see it. I don't see it. Where are you? minutes? I'm in the next to the last page. Oh, yeah. oh, next to the last page. Oh, okay. Page four. Yes. Page four. Right, so page yeah, four. Well, All right. Yeah. The first big paragraph. Huge paragraph. First big paragraph. Okay. <laughs> See it? Oh, at the very last sentence in that yes. first large paragraph. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Yes. Solomon right. Okay. Spelled yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 And it's just another little right little thing on the very last page. The first significant paragraph. Last, well, next to the last sentence. Mr. Carniello, the applicant, to apply. Asked, I assume you got to insert the word ask. Okay. There's no verb in there. Mm -hmm. See where it says Carniello in that first big paragraph on the left hand side? Third line up from the end of the very last page? Yeah. Well, well, his pages are different. My than pages, our pages are different. Cause I've heard them what does the What does the paragraph start with? It starts with Mr. Jarima discussed the original. Right, so it'll be on page four then. Oh. Okay. And then the very One, last, two, the three, second to last four. sentence in that paragraph yes. where it says Mr. Jarima discussed, it says Mr. Tronello, the applicant, and I think that's mm -hmm. what he'd like to. Yep. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's all. You went yeah. Yep. I printed mine up. So. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Is that, anything? Is, that, is that all you got, Cy? Yep. All right. Uh, we'll take a motion to uh, accept the minutes as amended. So moved. Robert, second? Second. Second by Eric. All those in favor? All right. Okay. Approved. Having nothing else on the agenda, we'll take a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second? Second. Second by Eric. All those in favor? Tonight's meeting is only Board Appeals is adjourned. Record.